In this video, I will show you exactly how to use Remitly for international money transfers. I'll go over the entire step-by-step -step process from creating your account, selecting your countries, adding in your payment methods and actually sending money. And when you're sending money, you will pay no fees on your first transfer. So this is what makes Remitly great. They are really, really cheap. And in this video, I'll go over everything you need to know in order to start sending money with Remitly. Make sure to watch until the end so that you don't miss any necessary necessary steps. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. So first what you want to do is open up your browser or your phone and download the Remitly app or go to remitly.com. Now once you are in the website, what you can simply do is in the top right click join now. So here all you need to do to create a Remitly profile is enter your email address, your password and confirm your password. Now here you can choose if Remitly may contact you and then just click on join now. So then after you click on join now, you will see a screen like this or something similar. So here you can simply get started with making your first money transfer. So this can be to pretty much any country such as India, Canada, the United States, wherever you want to send money. Now first you want to select where you are sending from. So for me it's set automatically to the Netherlands which is correct, but you can pick any country you see right here to send from. So for example, if you are in Canada, then you want to select Canada right here and then where it says to, you want to select the country that you are sending the money to. Now here here you have some popular options if it's not right here you can simply choose from the list over here and you can see that pretty much every single country is on this list so just find the country that you would like to send to for example if i select india you will now see from canada to india so make sure this is correct and then click on next and that will take you to the next step now, as you can see in Remitly, you get a custom offer and you can get started now with a special offer on your first transfer. As you can see, you pay zero fees and transfers are free when you send 500 Canadian dollars or more. And on your first transfer, you will not pay any fees, even if you send less than this. And you can send worry free. If you need to change details, you can edit active transfers here in the app. So now what you want to do is click send money right here and you can see the exchange rates as well. So one Canadian dollar is 61.91 Indian rupees and you have express and economy on your first transfer. This will be the same, but after your first transfer, one of them will have more fees and that's probably the express one since this one is faster. So then click send money right here. So now we are going to do the most important part, which is entering how much we want to send, the delivery, which is entering how much we would like to send and the delivery speed. So first enter either how much you would like to send or how much you would like the person to receive. So if I want my recipient to receive 1000 Indian rupees, then I can just fill in 1000 here and then you can see I need to send about 16 Canadian dollars. Now I'm just going to change it to 50 Canadian dollars. Then you can see what the person will receive. And now here you have two different delivery speeds. So you can see Express is Remitly's fastest transfer and you can pay with debit or credit card and Economy is Remitly's best price and you can pay with your bank account. Now as you can see the exchange rate is usually a little bit better on economy than on express right here but for now it's exactly the same so just choose do you want to pay with debit or credit card or bank account and do you want the fastest or the best price I'm going to select express for now now as you can see for me there is a two dollar fee because this is not my first transfer however if this is your first transfer then you won't have to pay any fees on that transfer so now click on continue now we are going to choose the delivery method. So how would you like the money to be delivered to your recipient? And as you can see, there are zero fees for recipients. So first you can choose bank deposit, UPI or cash pickup. Now this may be a little bit different for every single country. For example, if I am sending to the Philippines, I could also choose e-wallet and then select Gcash for example. However, for this example, I will just choose a bank deposit. Now you want to pick the bank or if you chose an e-wallet for example, then you will need to choose which e-wallet provider they use. So this is very customized to what option you chose. Now for example, I will select the State Bank of India right here. Now simply enter their account number and click continue. Now next up we are going to add our recipient's name. So this information should match the name on your recipient's bank account or e-wallet, whatever, wherever you are sending the money. Then click on continue. 
Now here, optionally, you can add the recipient's mobile number. Now the reason that you may want to add this is to actually update your recipient with transfer updates. Now I'm going to skip this step for now, but you can add in their mobile number if you want. Now here you want to choose the reason for sending. So right here you can click on the reason and then all the reasons will show up. So my NRE NRO account, savings and family support, real estate slash housing societies, educational institutions, tax payment, hospitals or healthcare providers, travel or tourism partners, utility bill payments, or loan account payment. Now for this example, I will select savings and family support, then click continue. Now you want to go ahead and enter your own details. So enter your first name, last name, and your date of birth. Now you can see the date of birth needs to be day, month, year. So for example, I will add this right here and click continue. Now you want to go ahead and confirm your information. So your information should exactly match what's on your ID. Mismatched information will delay your transfer. So then click confirm. And now you need to enter your own address. So enter your address line, your city, province, and postal code. Right. So then after you're filling your sender address, click continue. Now finally, you want to enter your own phone number and then click on continue. And now the very last step is to pay with your card or bank account, whatever way you chose to pay right here by simply entering your card number, expiration date, security code, and your name as it appears on your card. Then make sure these details are correct. And right here, you can also choose to pay with your bank account instead if you want. And now as you can see, you are ready to send and all you need to do now is confirm that all the details here are correct. And as you can see, their delivery promise is that your current estimated time of delivery is this time right here. So this will of course be different for you depending on when you are sending the money. So just go ahead and make sure that all of your details right here are correct. And then if it is, go ahead and click on send money right there. And then you have successfully transferred the money to a different country. Now, if you want to see your successful transfers, you can go to your transfer history right here. And here you will see all of your transfers. Now you can filter them by all, in progress or delivered. Now, if there is a transfer showing up here, you can click on it to see any details. And if you want to download your transfer history, you can click download right there. Now you also have the option to refer friends. So when you do refer a friend, you give $15 to your friend and you also get $15. So the way that this works is that you get a $15 discount after your friend sent at least $300 on their first transfer. And your referred friends will get a special exchange rate and $15 of their first transfer when they sent $300 or more. So that's also a nice feature of Remitly. And if you refer a lot of friends, you can actually get a pretty big discount. Say you refer 10 friends, you will get $150 in completely free transfers. So you have your invite link right here and you can simply copy it and share it with your friends. And if you want to make a new transfer, go back to send money here. And now here you have your previous recipient, but you can also just go and create a new recipient if you want. But for example, if you're sending to the same recipient every single week, then you can just choose them from the list right here. So now you know how to use Remitly for money transfers. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.